Good morning. Let's look at 1 Peter 2, verse 2. I'm going to read verse 1 again and uh, as we look on into verse 2. So put away all malice and all deceit and hypocrisy and envy and all slander. Like, which tells us that it's, a, it's what's called a simile. It's a figure of speech that uses like or as. So we're getting a, a metaphor that is uh, more specifically referred to as a simile. Like newborn infants long for the pure spiritual milk that by it you may grow up into salvation. Now, a couple of observations here. Of course, newborns need spirit, need milk to be able to grow and be nourished. But the key here is not about a kind of immaturity like uh, sometimes is contrasted in Scripture between milk and meat, wanting the meat of the word, not the milk of the word. This isn't an issue of immaturity. The real focus of this metaphor is on the idea of longing. Uh, Think about an insatiable newborn, a newborn that longs to nurse, a newborn that unless it nurses, it will not be satisfied. It needs to nurse. Now, it needs to nurse both because it needs to be strengthened from the nutrients from its mother's milk, but it also has this insatiable desire and longing for the satisfaction that comes from that connectedness as well. And here we get a picture of longing. So he's saying, look, look, when, when, you, when you want to put away things in your life and you want to be able to walk in growing maturity with Christ, it starts with an absolute passion and desire that is insatiable to sit with the Word, to, to learn from the Word, to read and study the Word. There are things that get in the way of our desire. Distractions get in the way of our desire. Um, there's a, uh, sometimes we, we may actually, in parts of our being, not think that that daily feeding on the Word is necessary. We might find a certain uh, season of feeling a little dull with the Word. But you need to understand that you should press through those seasons so that the discipline of reading the Word will give birth to desire. And in desiring, you will find, as you feed on it, an even greater desire, and it will grow and grow and grow. And that desire really fuels your spiritual life. So my encouragement to you today is, uh, yes, take in these thoughts for the day, but open the Bible, open the Word, leaf through its pages, Sit with it and linger over it, and let that be both milk and meat to you. May the Lord bless you.